Tonight, a suspect sits behind bars in Hernando County, accused of a crime that has shaken the Tampa Bay area for decades. 12-year-old Jennifer Odom was kidnapped and killed in 1993. And tonight, investigators say DNA has linked her murder to a man already serving two life sentences for another vicious attack. Today, we heard from investigators, and 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell walks us through a timeline of what led up to this arrest. Sadness, anger, and fear shook the Tampa Bay community when 12-year-old Jennifer Odom was abducted and murdered. This is every parent's nightmare. This is a thing that keeps parents up at night, worried about their children. Odom went missing in February of 1993, last seen getting off of her school bus. Days later, her body was found in an orange grove in Hernando County. For two years, investigators poured over clues trying to figure out what happened, later finding items belonging to Jennifer in January of 1995. Years pass, and then in 2015, DNA evidence links now 61-year-old Jeffrey Crum to a violent, near-fatal attack that happened to another child a year before Jennifer's disappearance. The details were similar. She was getting off the school bus and was horribly attacked and sexually assaulted uh, brutally is is an understatement. DNA from that case linked him to Odom's case and on Thursday Crum had his first court appearance accused of Jennifer's murder. His next appearance is scheduled for August 29th. This is a community nightmare. This individual is going to pay for what he did. Answers for a family and a community that have been waiting 30 years for justice. In Hernando County, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. Investigators believe Crum may be connected to other crimes and are asking people to come forward. Prosecutors say they will seek the death penalty.